Hey guys, what's up? It's Jax the Legend here, and today I'm here with a Minecraft tutorial. And in this week's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your Minecraft version in the Minecraft Java Edition Launcher. Now, this is really useful for multiple different reasons. The first one being, sometimes when a new update comes out, the servers that you play on haven't updated to them yet. Now, some, most of the big servers like Hypixel, Mineplex, etc. update pretty quickly, but some of the small servers can take a bit of time to do it because it can be pretty tricky. Now, another reason why servers can take a little um, longer to update is because you actually have to wait for a server-stable version of Spigot or Paper, which are just two different sort of server hosting type back end things that you don't really need to worry about as a, just a general player, but I thought it was an extra bit of info that you guys might like to learn about. Okay, so now we actually should get on to how you change this. Well, the first thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher, of course, and you want to move across to this installations tab at the top of your screen. It should be on the top um, left-handish side up here. Then once you've done that, you want to come over here and click new. You normally wouldn't have this many versions. I just have this because I use a lot of different versions. Um, but you'd probably just have this latest release one here. Then you want to click on new up here then you want to name this whatever you want you could name it 1.15 if that's what you're going to 1.8 whatever you want or you could even name it the server um, that it's being hosted on so I might name mine patron server because my patron server is currently 1.15 about to be moved on to 1.16 so that just helps me helps remind me but I'm going to be naming it for the sake of this video 1.15.2 now, you can also select this icon here. This isn't necessary, you don't have to do this, but I always, I like to do it because it's a bit of fun. I'm gonna select um, this cake right here. I'm gonna select that, super simple. And then you wanna select your version. Now, this can look a bit um, ominous with all these different snapshots and pre-releases and stuff, but don't worry, all you have to look is for release 1.15 or 1.15.1 or 1.15.2 with nothing else behind it. So not one, um, release 1.14.4 um, pre-7, it needs to be just release 1.14.4. So I'm going to do 1.15.2. You guys can do 1.8, 1.1, whatever you guys really want. So, but let me click on 1.15.2, where is it? Up here. Now, you can press create, but you might be wondering, Jax, why are these different versions useful? Well, the main reason, the main reason I stated before were the um, servers not updating super quickly. Um, but another reason is, some servers just don't update at all. I know most PvP servers, just pure PvP, stay in the version 1.8, a 1.8.9, if I just find that here, if it should be here, 1.8.9 here, or 1.7.10. Now, this is because the PvP mechanics, people say, all Minecraft PvPers say, that these those two updates were prime time for PvP. They loved PvP in that time, so that's why they stay on those versions. But another reason is, say you want to revisit old Minecraft, you can go down to release 1.0. Now, in some of these older releases, you need to make sure that you don't log in to an old uh, sort of newer world. So if you have a world that was created in 1.16, do not try and load into it in 1.1 or 1.2 because that can cause some major corruptions and can actually force you to reinstall your Minecraft. So whenever going into these super old releases, make sure you um, fully create a new world. And when it comes to updating to newer releases with say updating 1.15 to 1.16, I always suggest creating a backup of it first. Now, Minecraft gives you this gives actually gives you this option when you load into an old world on a new uh, version. Um, it says backup and load, or just I I know what I'm doing. I always suggest clicking on backup and load unless you you actually do know what you're doing there. But now, like I said before, we can press create once we've selected our version. Then we can go down to play. Click on here. Look for our cake or our name 1.15.2. Click on it and then click play. As you can see, it'll start up Minecraft. It might have to install something, um, say you're, if you're doing an older version or a newer version, and then it'll be just like this and you can fully maximize your screen and it looks and runs perfectly. So now with these bees on the screen, 
that is going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated. Oh, <laughs>